It's a very exciting, busy day here. It's got my product down, sun's out. Hopefully get a little bit of rain later. And the FedEx guy was so nice that he decided to bring me a new toy. Let's see what it is. That is a tall box. Now I'm just giddy. There you go. Milwaukee M18, the straight shaft trimmer. It doesn't have the quick lock, but I went with this one because this one came with the nine amp battery and another charger. So I've got, now I'll have two chargers, three total batteries. I got two regular red lithiums, but this one has the nine amp, which is what I was really looking for to have more power, more runtime on this. The quick lock, um, for about the same amount of money, you had to get just the tool itself. Um, and I believe there was an eight amp battery that you could get with one of those setups, but I really wanted to get the nine. Um, quick lock's a nice feature because that'll allow you to do any types of uh, switch over so you can get the hedge trimmer, the edger, um, things like that thrown on there. But since I've got a lot of the M18 gear already with the drill and everything else, this is gonna be awesome to have just because if I wanna pick up the trimmer at another time, I can buy the trimmer separately. They, they make all those tools that you need for, for lawn care anyway. So quick lock is nice. If I didn't have anything else already, I have hedge trimmers and I have other things that I can utilize. And I was kind of going into this clean, I probably would have picked up something like the kit and gotten the quick lock with the trimmer attachment or with a couple of other. So I'm excited. I want to open this up. I want to check it out. I actually haven't trimmed in been almost like three weeks because I've been waiting for this to come in. Um, because I was hoping I would get it and my wife picked it up for me for Father's Day, so so thank you to my wife for that. And we'll see what it does. Let me get the box opened. All right, got everything out of the box. Really well packaged, actually, first of all. Uh, everything came stuck with the styrene, wrapped in plastic bags individually, so nothing was all scraped up. A couple things that aren't part of this, I'll kind of keep those to the side for now. But there you go. You got the trimmer, you get your high output battery, a rapid charger, some of the uh, attachment bolts for the handle and for the guard, a little bit of string to get you started. And obviously, you know, you get your, uh, you get your bathroom flyer here so you can read up on everything while you're uh, taking a few minutes off of a uh, of lawn time. But I know some people don't like to throw guards on, um, landscapers and stuff, they kind of just, then they get the string go out even farther. They think they're kind of worthless. I find a place for them, I keep them. They've protected me a few times, so that's definitely gonna go back on. Uh, the rapid charger, one thing I really wanted to show you here, and what I did is I actually grabbed my other Milwaukee battery here so you can see the difference. So, that's just an M18 charger, and this one is actually an M18 rapid charger. So you can see right there, actually calls it out, uh, different product number, so, Rapid charger, regular charger. They look exactly the same. It's not like this one's any bigger, bulkier. The battery, however, just the regular red lithium over here. And then you get your nine amp HD battery. And you could tell right here, I mean, just looking at the size of them. And it's definitely got a bigger cell pack on it. But honestly, I mean, yeah, this one's definitely lighter, but there's not a ton of weight to this. So it's not like it's weighing you down. And if anything, it's gonna give a good amount of balance on the trimmer. Trimmer itself, I mean, it's it's a solid head to it. I'm just, I'm excited. This is gonna be awesome to get this tried out. I know this battery's a little low. I'm gonna set it up on the rapid charger. It's kind of sitting down. It's the other thing I love about these is you get that quick check on your, uh, your battery power there. And it just goes with the set. It just expands everything else I have from Milwaukee with, uh, with this M18. Like I said, I, I Firm believer, I mean, I had some Ryobis. I had that old, it uh, wasn't the 18 volt, it was the blue and yellow. So I think it was their 12 volt kit at a time. I wasn't impressed with it. I was 
older tools, they were handed down to me. I went through a lot of batteries and a lot of chargers. They weren't giving me any type of runtime on them. They, the power wasn't there. So I upgraded to the drill a couple years ago and I grabbed the Milwaukee when I was looking around, it was that, it was the DeWalt. There was a couple others that were out there. Um, but I made this change over to Milwaukee because um, they, at the time, even then, they had a lot of tools out there available for the kit and just started expanding from that. But I think even today with the new Ryobis, uh, the 20 volt max DeWalt or even the 18s, the Milwaukee, which I'm partial. So, you know, that's where I sit with the black and red. Any one of those is going to be a good buy for anybody, depending on your budget line. I mean, you don't have to overstretch yourself. I mean, they all have good quality stuff. But the good thing is, is once you get into one, stick with it. You know, a lot of people do that with the ego stuff. They, they get the mower, then they get the trimmer, and they start just kind of expanding off. So then you've got one set. And then really all you're thinking about at that point is replacing batteries. Because these things are, they're going to run. There's no maintenance to this now. I don't have to deal with uh, my old trimmer, which... Nothing wrong with it, it was a great trimmer, uh, but I don't have to deal with any more maintenance in terms of filters and plugs and the gas oil mix. Now that's just pretty much for the, the blower. And I'll show you what I'm upgrading from here. Let's see if I can get it to sit down right. There it is. So that's what I have. And this is the Echo, this is the GT200R curve shaft. Uh, it's got the rapid load head, which I'm such a fan of this because all this is, is a cam cleat. That's all it is. You push the, you cut the thread, the string you need, you push it right through the hole and it cam cleats itself so it doesn't pop out. And then when it's worn down, you just come in here and that's it. I just, I'm doing it one handed. So, and it just pulls out the string and you chuck it. But that's been a really, I've had this for a part of a decade now. Um, starts right up every season. It runs great. Um, I'm probably going to sell this on, on tag sale. See if somebody wants to, uh, to pick that up. But it's been an awesome machine for me, though, with all the property I've been doing and since I moved to this house, just dealing with the edging, going around all up in the wood line there because just right along the edge of the woods, there's always some brush to deal with. Um, I got a lot more gardening to edge, driveways, around the pool, around the deck. You know, I... I spend 20 to 30 minutes every other week just walking the yard, if not even, you know, sometimes maybe a little more, just kind of trimming and clearing things out. And as awesome as this unit has been, it does hurt your back. And you are bending over a little bit more. I mean, yeah, you can flip it over and do your edging, get some cleaner lines. You can do the same with a straight shaft. Um, but again, that longer reach, and you can see just by looking at the two here, that longer reach, um, probably a little more power on the Milwaukee. I haven't really checked the specs out to compare them, but you know, I think it, for me, it was a time for an upgrade, so I made the jump. But I was looking at the straight shaft Echo Gas too. It's comparable in price to the Milwaukee, but I said for what I'm trying to do, and I've already got the Milwaukee tools. It's a quick changeover for me. The batteries um, that I have, and now I have a high output I can flip in there. It just seemed like a natural move for me to get into some of the battery powered stuff. So. We'll see how it works. Uh, I did pick up also the string because I wanted to get that, the extra pack, because you get that little bit from, uh, from Echo. So that's probably enough for, you know, one winded spool. But I wanted to grab the extra just so I had it on hand and I have to deal with it later. The Echo Twine is, uh, is a .095. I was using .080 um, on the Echo. And this is the braided style. You can see there, it's got the twist braid style. Whereas with the Echo, kind of walking around a little bit, I was using this guy here. Oh, I'm sorry, I was using 0 0.095, how about that? So same same uh, thickness, but this one had the crossfire. So this, you can see the edges on it are a little bit more serrated. So it's like a cross section more than anything. Um, but I'm gonna keep that around. I'll, I'll use that as well too. That's been really good for me. I got my safety glasses as well. I always put those on. I actually had a friend of mine last year who was doing trimming with, with his gas trimmer and didn't have the glasses and actually ended up, well, he basically just shot a rock or something right up into his eye. Had rushed himself to the hospital. He lost sight in that eye for a while. They had to do a whole bunch of stuff to it. He had to have medicine. He had to have surgery done on it. it was, 
just the whole thing. But he was down and out for two to three months on in terms of vision. So, you know, it's that was good enough for me. I always have been wearing them anyway. Um, but it's worthwhile. Like I said, you, the stuff you can kick up, you never know. So now that I'm in a more powerful unit, it's just that much more of a danger. So wearing the protection is always smart. You know, I'll go out in shorts and do it, but I'll always put on shoes and then, you know, my legs will get things kicked up to them. But, oh, well, I'm going to put this all together. We're going to see, uh, see how it looks and we're going to get the battery charged and try it out. All right. Thanks, guys. I should have known that it was going to come preloaded, but just so you see, I took off the, uh, the tape around here. The twine's already out and you can hear that. That's the uh, that's the gear is catching as I'm rotating it by hand down here. But apparently the rapid loader for this is beyond easy. You're not taking any spools out, um, and it's been a while since I've dealt with um, feed spools. So this one apparently all you do though is you line up the red lines here, these red markers, and at that point you push the string through, and you start to twist to load. That's all it says is needed. You do about 20 feet of line. So when that happens, I'll have to give it a try. But for right now, um, we're just gonna go ahead and use what they gave us. This bump stop is, I mean, I gotta put some, some force into that to, get it to, do, to do a bump, which is awesome because it doesn't feel cheap at all. I mean, this, is, this whole thing feels pretty solid. So I'm quite excited. But yeah, preloaded with strings, so that saves me the time of having to deal with it. I'm sure it's just a little bit to get you started, but you know, they give you a little bit of extra in the pack, but uh, awesome. Just figured I'd give you guys a, a quick walkthrough on the uh, the loader head here because I am quite excited that this might end up being a lot easier than any of my past experiences with, uh, with feed heads. <laughs> 